Hello YouTube, Fuzz here and welcome to another side quest video for Nino Cooney 2. So this one's going to take place in Chapter 9 and we pick it up from the entrance of Ding Dong Dell. And the good thing about this side quest is that there's a citizen reward for completing it and that citizen has the Air of Danger trait. Now the Air of Danger trait is useful because it really helps you in skirmishes once you've gone ahead and completed the research at the uh, barracks or whatever it's called over in the kingdom. Yes. Now I've been whizzing through skirmishes, most of them anyway, but one thing I've noticed is that some of these skirmishes, the high level ones, even ones that are slightly lower level than I, uh, than my units are, but still quite high level, are actually really challenging. So I'm just trying to max out my uh, units and the powers that they have and the guts and all of that stuff that you need to research over at the kingdom. And that's one of the reasons why I recommend doing this quest, because there is a trophy for getting 50 skirmishes beat them. And since there's only 51 skirmishes in the game, that's pretty much every single one of them. So you really are going to want to max out your skirmish battle abilities. So let's go ahead and do quest 132, which is Grim's Determination. And we need to start, as you can see, by looking for Grim in the Western Woods. So I've just teleported literally outside there of Ding Dong Dell. And for this quest objective, we are going to have to actually take on a Tainted Mob. It's a level 49 Tainted Mob, so probably not the hardest in the world. And I'm just going to see, is it out here? No, it's in there. That's fine. It's that forest, I think, just in front of us. So it's level 49 Tainted Mob, which shouldn't be too much of a big deal for us, since we are in Chapter 9 here. Uh, but just bear that in mind, because the Tainted Enemies can obviously be substantially stronger than the normal enemies of the same level. But I was kind of expecting to actually take on a skirmish battle for this particular quest, since the reward kind of lends itself to that. Uh, but alas, that isn't the case. So I'll go ahead and explore this place, see if there's anything else of notable interest for you. And then we'll go ahead with the beast itself. So the first notable item of interest, maybe the only one, is a treasure chest located in that section that I just showed you on the map here. And the treasure chest itself contains uh, five leaves, sorry, five sheaves of wonder wheat so i'll carry on now heading towards the quest objective and here we have the tainted mob in question so we'll go ahead and enter battle against it so grim will be our citizen for completing this one Right, so hopefully this won't be too challenging. Just be careful because these guys like to charge all over the battlefield. But this is really quite level dependent. If you are struggling with it, then I recommend making sure that you uh, attack from range as much as possible because you'll find a lot of his abilities are far more easily dodged when you're at a distance than as opposed to being in the thick of it, so to speak. So just bear that in mind, okay, guys, because... If you're going to attack at melee range and you're under level, you are really going to feel the brunt of the damage on this one. Uh, obviously, if like me, you're 10 levels or so ahead, then you can just literally just lay into it, just make sure you stay on top of your health here. And why am I still healing with Sawaways? The way items work, I'm sure you guys know by this point, is that regardless of how many you own, you can only take a fixed number of them into the actual battle. Uh, which is quite a good system, actually. So it does save you from, uh, or it does prevent you from just literally spamming items by having 99 of each of them, as you would get in Final Fantasy, for example. Uh, so you do have to, you know, be more tactical in your fights, and whatever the case may be. But don't worry, because your other items will automatically replenish them into your battle pool once you start the next fight. But that's it. So it's a pretty standard Tainted Mob affair, in all honesty. And you get two pots of Sovereign Saw away for taking the enemy down. Excuse me! Hey. Not 
exactly. There we have it then guys, and Grim is now our citizen, along with the Air of Danger trait and the Moonless Knight unit as well. So thanks for stopping by today guys, I'll see you next time.